Hello, and we're back in hell. I almost forgot how bad it was right now. Oh my god. There's so much. Okay. Going little by little. Hopefully this works out. Because this could be horrible. Okay, I'm gonna move. I forgot you can stand on this. I thought there would be like a barricade. Damn it. Okay. Little by little. Okay. They're fairly powerful. But that doesn't mean anything. Sort of like in Dark Souls, if you get swarmed by a bunch of guys, even if they're all hidden for three damage, you're getting damage. The only hopeful is maybe they can dodge? Maybe? Oh, you have a javelin! You had a javelin equipped. Oh man, I'm so happy. <laughs> javelin will make this slightly less awful. Okay, I could kill you with a steel sword. Or you can do five damage there. Or I can do eight damage from here. You can also hit him. That'd be 8 damage, that'd be 20 damage, and it would kill him. Going for it. Except for it missed! Why did you whiff, Kyle? <sighs> okay. Javelin can still take out Thalmer, dude. Okay, you're absolutely just gonna be the OP motherfucker here. Okay, let's get it. I don't want to use that, because that's going to be, like, Erica's really powerful weapon, because it's special, but it also can break. I hate special weapons that will break. Okay. Took out most of my immediate radius. And I'm dorky. Oh shit. You're gonna be hit by that, aren't you? No, no! That counts as two! That's great! I thought that would count as one. So. Part of me thinks I should try to kill as many of these as possible, but also, they have limited use weapons. Everyone has limited use. So. Technically, the best thing would probably be to take out Zonta as fast as possible. Pretty sure that's also a healer, which should take that out quickly also. But, okay, stick together. We're all on horses, except for Ephraim. Got assholes coming up from behind. Okay. You take... No. I don't want to take out a lot of people with him just because he is obviously already level to shit. Or at the very least, he's the highest class. And Ephraim needs levels more than he does. Right now I'm pretty sure this entire party is meant to be Okay, no, you have a javelin, so you can take out at least one of them from a distance. Thirteen. Nine will do zero damage. Thirteen will do four damage. Do this. Oh, I'm doing a crit! So, no, you're not gonna do any damage. Perfect. A lot of this is just numbers and math. 
Especially when it comes to just damage calculations and shit like that. It... Oi! And you did a crit also! Bravo! Okay. I don't want to move him ahead any. I am thinking that the best option is to go down through this water and across. And basically camp here a little bit, avoid this part so that one can't hit through here. But camp here for a bit, draw in whoever's gonna come in here, and then head to the throne room. But it turns out they're going the opposite direction, so maybe not too bad. Right there. Right here. And you come down here. And you come here. That works. Thank god there isn't a turn on it. can't travel in water. None of you can. I thought you could. Okay. Oh man, this is... I thought that was just gonna be the easy plan of, okay, you can take that route or that route. Oh, I didn't notice that they blocked up the water. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Gonna inch up now. Who in the door key? Who in the door key? Since I have to go up this way anyway, I'm wondering if it would be beneficial to try and get out of this chest. Are you the one with the javelin? Yes, you are. So... Gonna wait here. Zaxu's gonna come to me. Ephraim can take him out, because he has a... S no, you have a lance equipped, damn it. Gotta get in front. damage. And you just did 10. That's not horrid. Okay. Now use the door key and back the hell up. Or then we'll take out. We use silver sword just because of the axe guy. The attack axe. Oh yeah. God damn it. And I got a chest key. Not what we're looking for. Okay. You guys can move up just a tiny bit. Did not know you could walk over chests also. There's very little in terms of obstacles, it seems like. We got another chest key. Use elixir, good. Healing items are good. Wait, and trade. Get a chest key. An item. 
News. Killer Lamps. Very good. Now get those two back with everyone else. And then start moving up. Oh, I'm having little heart palpitations. This feels like the hardest level so far. Because all the other ones are slightly easy and smooth, and I think part of that is because Erica is not as much of a fighter. Like, everyone's been in battle for a while now. But, Erga is primarily a princess who was taught how to fight. Okay. I want to trade. No. What do you have for healing? You have an elixir, but that's fine. No, 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 no. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay, that's so cool. I'm so upset they they can't go through the water. <laughs> It's the most upsetting back to me right now. Okay, we get the park in our end. It's 10. Okay, if I instead... Oh no, I can't get it. Here. Here. pronunciations of these names also fits all over the place, but that's the guy. Also, for anyone who is following Fire Emblem Heroes, they're putting out a lot of Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn like character summoning specials, like all the characters. Their Valentine's is basically all Fire Emblem. P.O.R. and R.D. characters. Getting my hopes up for a remake. Not remake, but remaster. I don't really think it needs a top to bottom remake. It just needs a, a slight increase in quality for the models and tweaks in the gameplay to make it more similar to some of the modern games. And then I need, I'm gonna, I don't need anything else. Maybe give a small training mode so I can level up all the characters because that is such a bloated cast <laughs> to pick from. Because I realized when I was playing um, Echo Shadow of Valentia that there's not a huge number of characters to pick from. And since it has a split path story, basically even out on both sides. And there were maybe only one or two characters that I didn't have space for in my party. And that was it.
a PR and already done, or like, here are 30 characters. You can use 15. <laughs> and so when I needed to actually use some of the ones I didn't normally use, they were basically in the back being protected little babies because no one is dying. <laughs> Death is not allowed. Um, you can kill. Okay, both sides here can kill. Oh, wait. Not these guys behind them. That makes me slightly more worried. Where are you, Heather? Because you can't talk good. Oh, he can take it. You're gonna need your heal, Kyle. Oh good, you killed him. You're definitely gonna need your heal. Cause I feel odds are that guy's gonna target. Yep, you. Okay. Take them both out though. Bravo. I'm not complaining. And you got a level! Bravo! Are you the only one who been getting, has been getting it? Okay, can't talk at all today, okay? I see how it is. Okay. Oh, and he's not the only one who's been getting levels, though, because I haven't been paying attention. I know he's definitely not getting levels, just because he's paladin, so leveling him up is hard as hell. And good lord, Kyle, live. Oh, good, he's doing zero damage. Okay, so that's less concerning. You're healing, though. That's just the last thing on his turn. Killer Lance will kill. So let's do that. Which I should immediately not use it next time. Killer weapons have a high crit rate, which makes them very useful. I don't know. 